Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to another IP Tech. I am your host, Philly Phil. Now, of course, uh, usually I would, you know, take more time in showing you how to do this, but this thing actually took me quite a few hours to actually complete step by step. So I'm going to go through this as fast as I can while remaining to uh, give you as much information as I can um, without boring you to death. Um, really quick. Probably wondering what this little thing right here on the front of the screen is. This is actually JPEG image that will be available for download um, for you guys. So check the link in the description, um, or you can go over to the Facebook fan page, and uh, there should be a link there as well. Um, if you can't get it through the link, then I'll probably just post it, you know, in the pictures on the fan page. You right click um, and save image as. Um, it actually made it made tracking a lot easier. Um, in this instance, and it gave me track markers, and you'll see what's going on with that um, here in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so we have a footage, which also I'm gonna try to have available for you guys um, in 720p and 360p for those who uh, computers aren't up to speed yet. Um, anyways, we have a footage, we have our screen. Um, once again, it's just a JPEG image that was on the phone that I selected and then I just turned the phone on and then started filming um, it's nothing simple and then we went ahead and we added the track the, the foundry camera tracker to it if you're not familiar with this plugin check the particle uh, fairy effect camera 3d camera tracker tutorial I did a few weeks back um, we'll give you a little bit more insight for that um, okay so we would apply that right um, you would go track features, which would then allow it to track. You would solve camera, and you would create scene. Creating a scene would then give you a camera, a 3D camera, and a null. Here, let me go and turn off that. Okay, so here goes the null. Here goes the camera. Um, so you would have that, and then that. Uh, in this instance, after I'm done with that, well, actually, one more step. Um, what we would do is we would select it, and then we would find a tracker point here, right here. We'll we'll take the center one. We would then go create, click that, go to create, and we would then create a null object, which would then give us our null object where that tracker point is. Um, and then what we would do is simply, me personally, I just delete camera tracker at that point. But I'm not going to do it just in case I mess up on the tutorial. I still have it. Uh, let's see. After that, what we did was I went ahead and I created a solid. Um, just, this is just a regular old. Uh, Ooh, I think it was just control Y and it was just a 720 by 19 1920 by 1080 solid bam just like that then what I did is I went ahead and pre-composed it we would then pre-compose it we're using shift control shift control C and then you would just rename it screen because this is the one that's going to be on the phone so we just name it screen and then it would give us this right here all right now this color, for me, I actually chose to make it, uh, these are the numbers, R127, G190, and B255, which is red, green, and blue. Um, that's the blue I chose for this. Um, it took me a minute to, to pick a good enough blue for it to matter, um, but that's the blue I used. Now what I went ahead and did is I, from that tracker point or that null object I went ahead and copied and pasted the position by hitting P on the null object taking your X Y and Z axis uh, numbers and just pasting them into the onto the position of the comp the pre comp screen layer uh, which is there um, then just delete the null um, which would then give you that and, and it may take you a minute to uh, get it right so don't don't feel um, that the you know just doing that will simply get it where it needs to go sometimes the math is off and it won't end up where you want it to be that's fine um, take your time and maneuver it in space exactly where you need it to be um, for me in this instance you know what I'll do is I'll go ahead and call out the numbers for you so um, for the X was uh, 97 or 971.4 Y was a 595.7 and then the Z was a 426.8 
um, if you're using this footage that hopefully that gets you close to where you need to be um, if not just move it to where you want it to be alright uh, went ahead and added a glow um, as you can see here goes that color that blue uh, composition without the glow and then I just went ahead and added the glow um, now the cool thing about this with this being in a composition you can then go into the screen comp and then add in whatever you want so let's say you wanted to say um, just click here and we'll just go loading right we would then be able to put that in the center we'll make it bigger drop that down uh, we'll, we'll leave it black for now go back over here to the main comp and then bam your screen officially says loading without much work after tracking and then placing it in the right position so that's really cool I was gonna do some some little wavy um, motions on here at first in the original but I decided not to um, since it was only a test video it wasn't that big of a deal so moving forward let's go ahead and get rid of loading you know what no I'll leave it on there for you guys um, so yeah so that's the cool thing about pre comping and then moving the composition where you want it to go um, okay so let's go ahead and move forward from that the next thing what we would do is the next thing I have going on is the actual hologram um, comp itself which is pretty much the same exact thing I did before I went ahead and um, created a solid pre comped it and then I put everything I needed into that comp um, added in the footage uh, I got a blue solid that gave it a blue tint on the on the back side. Well, here goes that crappy little triangle thing. I didn't give it much thought. I just knew I needed something to show it coming from the screen, from the phone up to the actual hologram screen itself. So I just made some crappy little triangle. Don't judge me. Um, so we have that. We have another blue solid here. Let me take off. Let me shoot it really quick. We have another blue solid, which was uh, for the trim of it. So I just simply made, once again, a blue solid, and then I took a mask and add, turned it to subtract. Uh, kind of just made it smaller, took the expansion down, let's see, the expansion down to negative 28 pixels, and then the opacity was left at 100, and then I just feathered it 99 pixels just to get this little border around it. Um, another blue solid behind it to give, an, to give Lemon Shooter itself an actual overall um, blue tint to it drop the opacity down to five percent which you can probably change the transfer mode to something that would then give it more um, more anything or something else I don't know more color just change the effect um, of any sort but I just chose to go with um, the opacity once again it was only a test video um, so we have all that all in this hologram screen uh, hologram comp so quick little recap we have one composition for the phone screen okay then we have another composition for the actual hologram itself and the cool thing about that once again is you can actually scale it up and down uh, to match and move it in Z space well I wouldn't necessarily move it in 3D space only because of the fact that it's you know it's where you want it to, to be per se after it's already been tracked um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, the um, the flares. So what I went ahead and did is I created two lights. Uh, one for the middle of the screen, which would then obviously it's the same position in which the screen comp. The position of that is for that light. I renamed it emitter, and then I have a second light that I put up at the top up here for the top of it, um, just for effect. Uh, then what I went ahead and did was, of course, I had to use optical flares, video copilot's optical flares, to then um, give it a little pizzazz and give it the effect that there's light coming off of it. Um, with a little bit of uh, color correction and stuff. Let's see, on the original one, I added a tint as well as a curves. The tint, I just actually desaturated it even more. Um, in my camera, I actually used... Uh, Cine styles, which pretty much gives you pretty much a flat image and then I felt that it wasn't flat enough actually for this particular instance so I went ahead and added a tint and took it to 20 percent and made it a little bit more black and whitish added a curves to kind of crush it down got my lamp going on right here so it was a nice little contrast 
um, and then I just duplicated the layer here and then I just added a mask for a vignette effect um, this was tinted to black with 61% uh, let me see if I can get you that here we go see right there that's all said and done so you have those two you got your screen you got your hologram uh, your camera tracker even though the actual null object actually isn't necessary to have on um, you can go ahead and turn that off or hell maybe even delete it after you already put your screens in place um, that's totally up to you um, you have your screen here so once again you can add anything and everything you want uh, you can change that to white there and then it will update well you can't really see it with control Z uh, you can't really see it to begin with either way so anything you put in this screen comp would then show up on the screen of the phone because it's already been tracked because you tracked the comp to the position uh, hologram same thing got lemon shooter playing right here uh, oh the footage for lemon shooter was actually vignetted with the you would just go uh, effect transition vin this one <laughs> what is that Venetian blinds I guess okay whatever um, Venetian blinds then wow uh, you would then do that let's see we would then change it to 90 the direction because if you put it to anything else if you're thinking zero it's actual vertical so you want to go 90 90 degrees either negative or positive that doesn't matter um, and then the width and the feather is totally up to you uh, depending on how close your uh, your footage is or your camera is to this actual screen the closer it is the smaller the lines you may want but since I was kind of I wasn't too close to it and we still want to give it that you know that line effect to it um, I went ahead and just had it at what was that 13 um, real quick let's see also I gave it a black and white only because I knew that this blue layer above it was going to be given kind of a blue feel to it um, so there was no reason to actually have any color in it um, see even there it looks really good uh, so yeah let's see we have all that we have all that then what I usually do is I will then pre comp everything from the main comp so all this but then get comped into here we go right here the main and then uh, put into a another comp now this is actually something that I, I haven't disclosed to you guys just yet and this is the way I actually work with every video primarily um, really quick what I do here is I will then pre comp it into a, a 3 by 5 or a 2 two three five composition and what that means is here let me go ahead the pixel express pixel aspect ratio is two three five um, usually um, it's 16 by 9 for uh, you know high definition uh, 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by uh, 720 but what this means is that well I actually don't know the total definition of it but I just know that it's actually wider than it is taller um, as you can see here uh, I like my comps really really wide oh, that was checked my bad anyways so yeah so as you can see moving with that uh, does that now what uh, what pre comping that does pre comping all this or just comping it period uh, what it allows us to do is to have all, all that information from the main comp into one comp in which we can move um, now the cool thing about working in a in a two three five is simply if there's not enough in your vertical space for your frame, you can then move that entire comp to then adjust for the correct framing. Um, meaning, uh, as you can see here, I got position keyframes set up all throughout here. Um, as I was doing the original shot, I purposely um, for this tutorial went ahead and didn't frame it or you know got a little closer to the bottom let's see in some parts like here it's a little closer to the bottom of the frame while there's a lot you know still at the top moving it around almost caught you know almost uh, lost the phone itself here while still having a lot of uh, top room up there and I actually did that on purpose because I knew I was going to be doing the tutorial for this and so I want to show you guys another neat little trick that I do with pretty much every video um, I will then 
keyframe the position of the composition itself to move up and down um, within this within this composition here to adjust for the spacing um, usually when I do shoot a video I try not to uh, get close to the edges but just in case you mess up or you do you're then able to move it if you see here you can see how it goes up and down here that's because I'm actually moving the composition to keep the phone uh, in the area which I want it to stay um, and that's a neat little trick just in case you mess up or you find yourself wandering uh, high or low you can then you know kinda adjust it for that alright so then after we do our final adjustments to make sure that our phone actually stays within um, our composition there um, then you would then obviously drop that composition the semi-final into another composition down here um, and then rename it the final well you don't have to rename it final but I do um, that's kind of how I know which one's which and then at that point I would then do my final color correction I would then drop my uh, colorist on there my colorist to two um, do my you know my color correction um, this image is actually a little blown out because of the fact that I did change the actual hologram and the, you know the settings in there for you guys but other than that that's pretty much the gist of it you know really simple really easy uh, to complete once again I would definitely spend some more time on the rays going up to the actual hologram the screen give it more of a light streak uh, feel to it um, but this is only a test you know for the tracking and stuff hopefully this helped you guys out if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate drop a comment in the you know below um, I usually answer all comments um, check me out on the Facebook fan page at inconsistent or you know fb.com slash inconsistent pictures also if you have any questions or suggestions on tutorials or anything um, hit me up on Twitter as well um, at inconpix um, you know whatever the case may be let me know a lot more stuff coming soon I will be trying to do an actual uh, video video using this effect here pretty soon also like I said the download for the you know for the pictures to track your screens as well as a blue screen and a green screen version will be available um, if it's not if it's not there by the time you watch this video then um, go ahead subscribe and I will let you know as soon as I drop it on there also go ahead and like like the fan page because I will let you know when I put it up as well I'm gonna try to put it up uh, before I put this video up but we'll see how that works I'm a little busy um, so once again thank you for watching hopefully you guys learned something you guys take care I'm Phil